Thank you. Hello. Um, thank you for the introduction. I might not hit those points exactly. Um, this is paper, by the way. I should have brought a digital device. Now, listening to the speakers today, this has been very educational. It's interesting, thought-provoking, and, uh, and kind of like gives me hope. So thank you for that. This digital revolution seems to have been underway for decades, and yet now that we suddenly find ourselves in the middle of it, we seem to be caught by surprise without the tools, the regulation, the oversight in place to make sure that these tools are not abused. It's kind of like with, uh, with climate action. We've known that the longer we wait, the bigger the price and the damage will be. And AI with this potential for good also has the potential for harm, for manipulation, distortion of our rea realities. I'm, a, I'm an actor and a screenwriter. Right now there's a labor conflict here in the US because of a very much reality-based fear of the damage AI can do to visual storytelling if we don't have clear boundaries and agreements in place of how to use all these wonderful tools. I have, I have two daughters. Well, they're young women now. Unlike me, they've grown up in a digital world, and smartphones always been in reach. You know, it's my generation. We always very, uh, we're very good at pointing that out, how much the, the kids use their phones. Meanwhile, we tend to ignore the fact that we ourselves can barely visit the bathroom without sitting down phone in hand. Yeah, it's not, it's not just me then. That's good. So online bullying and harassment is it's very real. And unfortunately, it's more aimed at women than men. And those things frighten me, they concern me. But I'm also confident that we can deal with that, that, that we are dealing with that. My biggest worry for the future of my daughters, well, for all of us, is not online bullying or harassment but that we are in the process of losing fundamental trust in what we see and hear because everything can and is manipulated. That the online world works as this massive echo chamber, confirming bias and suspicions towards the others. We're losing trust in the fundamentals of society, in elections, in what we're being told. There, there's no longer any difference between a news story from a trusted journalist and some person in a basement making up crazy lies. And I fear that, as with other massive breakthroughs in technology, it will benefit those who have the most first and deepen our already unsustainable, unequal world. I fear the new technologies will be used to suppress freedom of speech. But most of all, I do have hope. I have hope in us, in each other, that we will learn from the past and use digital tools to better the lives for all of us. Now, we are here at the halfway point towards achieving the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals and the potential to find new, better solutions using AI, our digital tools. It, well, it has to give you hope. But as always, it is up to us to use the new power for good, for a better, more just future for all of us. Thank you.